Hi, I am your host Sarah Dower and welcome to Artie Indie where you are the filmmaker. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make this. Here is everything you need to build your own slate board. We started with a 1 inch by 12 inch piece of poplar wood. It is sold at Home Depot by the foot, so get one foot cut. Next, get a 1 inch by 3 inch piece of poplar. Cut one foot for the top arm of the slate. We designed the erasable section of the slate in Adobe Illustrator. Its dimensions are 8.5 by 11. We had it laminated for $2 at a local print shop with 1 4 inch borders. It fits nicely inside the 12 by 12 poplar without overhanging. Next, we have a black, white, and gray exposure card for the back of the film slate. Thanks to the Frugal Filmmaker, these are actually free to obtain. We will post a link below to his video explaining how to do so. You'll need a can of primer to coat the wood, a can of white and black spray paint. Along with this, you'll want to use some painter's tape. As for the hardware, you will need two 3x5 metal tie plates, a 5 16 by 1 and a half inch hex bolt, two 5 16 washers, one 5 16 cap nut, four number 8-32 by 1 and a fourth inch machine screws with nuts, and adhesive to glue down the laminate for mica. In order for the arm to properly swing, you'll have to cut a 45 degree angle off of the top right corner of the 1x12. We cut about 2 inches off, or enough for the upper arm to properly swing on its pivot. Pick four holes in the two tie plates that you can bolt to your 1x12. The holes are a bit small, so use a drill and a bit to make the holes the right size. In the upper plate area, you'll drill a hole for your 5 16th bolt. Once you've assembled everything and the arm swings correctly, you're ready for the paint job. Take a pencil and trace where your laminate's edges are. You can center the laminate so each side is even. It will be close to the edge of the bottom. Here's a tip. Make sure not to have the laminate overhanging the bottom edge. They can give nasty paper cuts. You should have about two inches of exposed wood on the top. Remove the laminate and get out your painter's tape. Run some painter's tape along the inside lines where you traced your laminate. You'll want the Formica to glue directly to the wood, not the paint. The wood above the tape will be painted white along with the entire 1x3. Tape off a section of the back of your 1x12. This is where your three pieces of laminate will be taped. First thing you want to do is read the drying time for the paint and the primer. Lay newspaper down in a well-ventilated area. Outside of your taped box, apply a coat of paint. Make sure when you are spraying, you move the can back and forth for an even coat. When the primer is dry to the touch, flip it over and do the other side. While you're waiting for that to dry, you can take your 8x10 Formica samples, stack them on top of each other, and clamp them down. On the 10 inch side, measure 3.5 inches from the end, and with a straight edge, trace with a pencil carefully. Cut the Formica as straight as possible. When all is said and done, you should have three 3.5x8 three inch pieces. Next, apply a white coat of paint. After that is dry, lay down the painter's tape so there is one and three fourths inch bare wood above it. Line up your two pieces of wood and tape off a vertical pattern on the one by three and the top white strip of the one by 12. Make sure the tape lines line up. You should see the tape making a V shape when it's lined up correctly. The taped off strips will remain white while the exposed strips will be painted black. This is the visual cue used for editors to sync the separate sound to the video. Paint all the exposed areas black. While that's drying, paint your two tie plates black too. When it's all dry, you want to glue your laminate sheet down. Careful not to use too much glue. Clamping the wood on top of the laminate will help secure the laminate while it's drying. Wipe away any excess glue if it comes out. Glue the Formica in the same way that you glued the laminate. When all the pieces are dry, attach all the hardware and voila, you have a working film slate. Here at Already Indie, we appreciate our fans, so we're gonna give you a freebie. Among the links below, there's a PDF version of the Adobe Illustrator file that you can print off and download yourself so you can have it laminated. If you like what you saw, please leave a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe. And like us on Facebook for all your friends and family to see too. If you made your own film slate, we'd like to see it. So upload a picture to the Facebook fan page. And also, if you'd like, select my fan page so you can like me too. And thanks for watching. 
from the beginning? Yeah. Okay. And if you... There's a PDF version of the Adobe... There's a PDF file of the Adobe... There's a PDF version of the... Uh, Mona Links below, there's a PDF version of the... Here at Already Indie, we appreciate our fans, so we're gonna give you a freebie. Yeah. That you can print off and download yourself, so you can have it illustrated. <laughs> Leave it. file of your I feel so cheesy like that. <laughs> This is a s- Good camera shot.